Hello everyone, welcome to the Chinese language. Learn Cantonese verbs for beginners. Basic verbs. Round 2. If you have not done so already, I highly recommend you to download our mobile app called Cantonese Phrases Beginners 1. This app contains flashcards, quizzes, lecture notes for various learning modules that pertains to the very beginner in the Cantonese language. The app is completely free and it works on both iPhone and Android. Alright, so um, let's get started. Um, the first verb to find. So, in English, to find in uh, Cantonese, it is pronounced one. Again, uh, the verb to find in Cantonese is pronounced one. So, um, it is very similar to uh, uh, the word one in uh, in English, uh, one, like uh, you win something, right? You won something. Uh, it's very similar pronunciation. Um, so, for example, it's like let's say um, looking for a person. Well, a person in uh, Cantonese is called yan, right? So, finding a person would be one yan, one yan. Uh, finding a job, well, um, job in Cantonese is gong. So uh, that's the bottom example, by the way. Uh, so uh, if you want to say looking for a job, finding a job, you would say one gong. So the verb to know, uh, we would pronounce in Cantonese as Sec again in uh, for the verb to know in Cantonese we would pronounce as sick which is similar to sick in uh, in English um, now for example like let's say the top one right again on the last example we said um, for person would say uh, uh, yan in Cantonese right so sick yan means I know people and so sick yang means I know people and the bottom one is a bit long right um, uh, so uh, what happened is uh, this is I'll pronounce it once and explain it what it is so it would be so what this means right it means I know how to play tennis so means play tennis and means tennis and all you already know is uh, means me or I. So um, this phrase, which is all sick means I know how to play tennis. For the verb to return in Cantonese is pronounced fan. Again, uh, the Cantonese pronunciation of this verb is called. Fun. Now, um, uh, it is very similar to the English word fan. You know, the equipment that blows air out to cool you off. Uh, but now you wouldn't like to prolong the uh, the a sound. So instead of a uh, fan, you use the fan. Uh, that would be very similar, but you might want to lower the A sound a bit, like tone down the A sound a bit, so it would be fan instead of fan, fan, fan. Now examples, um, like let's say return to work, right, you'll be like fan gong. Actually, by the way, um, this is actually what we use for uh, go to work, so, uh, so instead of going to work uh, uh, in um, in English, we actually say return to work in Cantonese, which is fan gong. Um, return, uh, return to home, 
so home in Cantonese is called OK so return to home is called Fan OK the verb um, to need in Cantonese is pronounced you again uh, the, the Cantonese pronunciation for the verb to need is you so now um, the English uh, representation, the English alphabet representation I chose is Y E E L. So um, it'll be uh, uh, you have the Y sound for the Y and then EO at the end. So it's um, more like uh, the word yield in English, but instead about the D. So it's yield. Now be careful with this though. Uh, be very, very careful with this because um, uh, remember yield is a lower. Uh, uh, tone on the eel sound because if the eel sound is too high um, it is actually a swear so you might want to be careful with the pronunciation of this so uh, now for example um, let's say I need to go to work uh, as I said uh, before um, going to work in in, in Cantonese is actually called, uh, also the same as return to work so and it's a uh, return is fine in, in Cantonese right so if I say I need to return to work um, I would say or you fun gong to want or to think yes um, the the, the the kanji that's being used for both of these are the same in Cantonese and I believe it's in Chinese in general so if you want to say I want a toy or I'm thinking about this actually I'm thinking about this the think might be a bit different but that's for um, another lesson of its own um, so uh, this kanji, anyways, this kanji is uh, pronounced as sh. Again, um, the pronunciation of the verb to want um, is uh, sh. So it'll be uh, it's the same. Probably a good representation will be s h u r n, like u r n is uh, earn, earn. And then you add the sh in front, pronouncing the sh sound, um, like uh, telling people to shut up. You would say sh, like that sound. Um, if you put that in the front and with the urn in the end, and you combine those sound together, you would have sh, which is quite similar to the pronunciation for the Cantonese verb sh. Now example I'll use the same examples of uh, uh, I need to return to work so now I would say I want to return to work I would say awesome fun gong to wait for okay so uh, the uh, Cantonese pronunciation for the verb to wait for is dang. Dang. Now, um, I would say it's very similar to the English word dang, like D U N G, dang, um, just a lesser on the G sound and more on the N sound. So um, uh, I would pronounce again on the uh, Cantonese pronunciation, which is dang, dang. So, for example, um, you have probably learned these two uh, words before, which is a uh, the first one is uh, um, uh, me, which is all, and the uh, last one is called uh, you, which in Cantonese is called lei. So the overall phrase is called ngo dang lei. So what this means? It means I wait for you. Now the last uh, thing that uh, I want to let you know in this lesson is um, the verb for have enough so if I say I have enough of rice if 
um, I have enough of this, I have enough of anything, um, you would use this uh, um, verb. So um, it is pronounced gao, gao, which is kind of similar to the to the word dog in Cantonese too, because dog for Cantonese is called gao, but with a lower tone here, you would say gao. Again, uh, for pronunciation of have enough in Cantonese is called gao. So um, English representation. So we would like you to pronounce uh, the ga first, which is ga. And then uh, with O, just instead of uh, uh, we would like to produce O, just the letter O. And then in the end, we, so we, we pronounce it slowly. It's called Gao Gao U. So if you pronounce faster, it'll be that pronunciation, which is Gao. So example, if I want to say I have enough of um, the meal, I'm full, right? I say O Gao Fan, right? That is uh, how we usually use this. This concludes our lecture. Thank you for your listening. Remember, like us or subscribe to our channel for more updates on our lecture materials. Also, download our free app for your iPhone or Android if you have not already done so for flashcards and quizzes that are related to this lecture. Also check out our website um, as shown in our video description on YouTube for apps and lectures for other units. Thank you. Bye-bye.